long time ago, we used to sing this song, and then uh, with one late mama. Uh, I think we were still the young pastors by then. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. people I love so much. I remember my pastor who was at Khosa and then I love this man and then by singing this song Kerobino Sarafime Zimana Zimene Zabwe to find that man. I believe we owe him a lot. One day he prophesied and said, he does not see any pastor here in Tabisa. By then there were big churches. And he said, it's only you that I'm seeing. You. He was talking about me. And this thing has happened. Uh, that man, uh, I think, is the one that lifted us in the spirit a long time ago. And we used to sing this song. Mananja, lo, mananja, lo. You know the song? Mananja, lo, Jesu. You know the song? We sang it a long time ago. Uh, Another song. It was very song. Kirumeti to Lemure. Christian life today and our Christian life long time ago. Christian life now is of materials. But then it was Jesus is coming back. Jesus is coming back. So we must be ready for him. I just remember when we say uh, it, it, that song we used to sing Mama with Jesus uh, you know the song Yes. Sing. Sing the song. Uh -uh. 
Tina si ofanana ye Tina si ofanana ye Tina si ofanana ye Tina si ofanana ye Jesu my bonagala Tina si ofanana ye O Jesu my bonagala Tina si ofanana ye 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 Jesu my bonagala Tina si ofanana ye Jesu my bonagala Tina si ofanana ye 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 You know I'm just remembering Christianity more than 20 years ago and our Christianity now technology has really affected us technology has really affected us I mean desiring to be other people also has really affected us but that time the goal was I want to go to heaven always you'll be ready to say if he comes now I'm ready to go I don't know if you're hearing that if he comes now, I'm ready to go. I don't think I want to tell you this thing. I, I, I just want you to bring a sense to you that coming to church must not be the issue of we are searching for one, two, three. It must be the issue of seeking him only. Amen. The Bible says, seek the kingdom and all shall follow. Amen. I'm sure you understand that. Amen. One of our mistakes today is, I mean, I even told Mama. Uh, this week I said, Mama, Christian community is still very small. Christian community is very small. I can tell you that. I was in Canada. I saw people that have been seen by many prophets. We don't have new people now. Christian communities, like you people here, you are the one who's moving from here, you move from there, you move from there. The church when it's big is from with people who are turning around like this. We don't have new convents. We don't have a cry of winning other people. Our cry now is, you come here, you bless me now, you go. You bless another one, just like that. How many times you are putting money everywhere? How many times? Your Christianity does not even bring someone to be saved. And if you want the person to be saved, you must be saved because you bought a car, you got a job. What is that? That Christianity was of the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. I don't know if you're hearing me. That's where power of God comes. If you want to see power, let's go back to the what? The blood of what? The blood of Jesus. Not Christianity of I got a car, I got this. These things I never search for, they, they follow me. They can follow you. If you want to have everything you need, even those you don't want, just seek him only. Live a Christian life where you don't want anything. Where you don't want anything. And all these things will really respect you. They will come to you. I don't know if you're hearing me. So look at our Christian life now. I, I mean, Christianity, Christian community is very small. Very small. If we can ask these people here, who are here, they were somewhere. These people here, or they were the visitors there, they, they were somewhere. If we ask you, you were somewhere, is it true? Eh? How many people are we winning for God? That is why today, when we say we want to pray for evangelists, we don't find evangelists now. Even evangelists tend to be prophets. Because there's no more having a hunger of winning the people. The hunger now is to get materials. So, if I'm talking against you, 
Don't be offended. It's time to repent. We'll go back to God. I'm sure I understand that. I brought people there and I said to them that, okay, let's bring the evangelist group. Nothing. Few people. Prophets were many. When you say prophet, there are many. No one wants to evangelize now. How many crusades now? How many crusades? Even those who were doing crusades, they've got churches now. People who were doing crusades, they've got churches now. No more winning people. Where is Jesus now? You people here, like now you're here, you want impartation for what? You say you want to prophesy. Not to win people. And now our people now here, everywhere, very soon, I'm telling you, the things called a prophet will be outdated. I'm telling you now. You just say, I'm a prophet. People say, eh? Hey, 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 hey. Because they will never know whether you are true or false. I don't know if you're hearing me. So we people, we need now to have a spirit of winning people. Let's go back to the cross. So I'm just singing these songs. I'm remembering. I say, God, our Christian life was not like this. Was not like this. Was not like this. Our Christian life now. We don't have a desire to go to a place where the gospel has not preached. If you want to have a church, you must go in the center of a town where you'll get members who will support. You can't go to the village. No one goes to the village now. Even when you pray against witches, they're in the village. They're in the village. But you don't want to go to the village where you can deliver those witches. You say, which is in the village, but you forget you're a witch too. In the city. Because you are killing people. So today I'm saying this because I've been turning around. I thought Christianity community is very small. Very small. Very small. When I was in Canada, people from US who saw me there, follow me there. I had people from Houston. Are you hearing me? That is why people now, when they want to start a church, they must divide a church of someone. Because now we don't have a strategy now. We don't have a, I mean, we don't have a cry. If we've got a cry, we can go to the bush, to the place where nothing has happened. And we are tested there. The power will be tested. And if it's genuine, you will stay there and save many. Here, yeah, Winnie Mandela was not like this. Ask my wife. There were many flags here, flag of prophets. I began to enter house by house. I used to do house visit. Other chasing me, say, hey, we don't want to see you. Other dream me after they chase me, they come. Gospel must reach people. If we can have a heart today of all of us here, I don't know if you're hearing me. Yes. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? Yes. Are you going to heaven? Yes. How many you have won if you're going to heaven? If we can have a heart now of sharing the gospel to anybody I might, you meet, I'm just thinking about that. God will really bless you. You meet this one. How are you, sister? Where do you come from? I'm a show. Yes, you are a vendor. Yes. Okay, I'm a Christian. Are you a Christian? No. So now you find chance now to speak with this one. Sister, to be a Christian, this, you don't need to be spiritual. You don't need to do aradra kabagadra. You need, you need to tell this person about Jesus who died on the cross. We are too much in tongues now. And these people are dying. That's why you find we are fighting. The reason why you see we are fighting is because you move from here, you go there. Another one move from here, you go there. Now, everybody needs members. So you make us to fight. 
You people, when you're in the chair, you don't talk about the chair, you talk about Jesus. Jesus is the Savior. If we reach that level, you'll find that sin. Somebody will stay there. Listen, you don't know this thing was happening here in Charis. If a person come and stand here and begin to lie, will fall. How many of you know that? Charis people, they know that. Here, yeah, because the church must breathe. So I'm just saying this because in my spirit, I felt we are out of the way. How many of you understand you are out of the way? Lift up your hands. You are out of the way. Because if we carry on this way, we are doomed. Christianity could be very, very small. I was shocked. I saw people from Taiwan. I saw people from Hong Kong, China. All of them, they've been going around. Today, people now, they don't mind about their Christian life. They mind about the gift. Today now, somebody will be coming, please, open my eyes, open my eyes, say, what's that? After your eyes are open, what do you want to do? Because your intention is still different with the one of Simon. Who say, oh, let me offer you this money so that I also lay hands on people. It's what we are doing now. So, when I'm speaking this, I see my wife crying. Uh, because we have moved out. Moved out of the road. Our church now is money. Church, money. If you don't get money now, you must fight to get money. That's why you see people rebelling, lying, doing that. One of the things that people... They will end up continuing lying, rebelling against me. It's because I won't love things that go like this. Think straight. If you come to me, let's go straight. If you want to have car, straight. <laughs> There's nobody that can delay anyone. No one. We know our God, how he works. What we need to do now, let's have heart. We still have brothers and sisters who are not saved. Is it not true? We still have co-workers who are not saved. We still have many people. Some of us, we are not different with them when we are outside church. Some of us, there's no cry of saying, I want to win people, I want to win. Let me evangelize, let me evangelize. Even a person now, if you start to evangelize, you people, you don't want that person. You want a person who will tell you your name. But your character is not changing. Look at your character now. If Jesus come, I'm prophesying your name is whom whom. But you are sleeping with someone you didn't marry. Your character is not changing. So now I'm busy prophesying. I'm not telling you about Jesus. What if Jesus comes now when we are busy doing that? So I'm saying this. Today I want to pray with pastors who have a cry of saying, God, I want to go out and win people. Go out and win people for God. You know this thing of coming they say, okay, how, how many members now? One, two, three, four. Sometimes some members here, we even lie to them so that they stay in the church. Why is it like we are looking at these people? How big is the world? You can find we have got a crusade here. People are dancing here. And the people who are dancing there are more than the ones who attend crusade. We need anointing that will affect those people. I don't know if you're hearing me. Amen. That when you appear, when you look at them, all of them must fall. And ask them, you say, you know what, you need Jesus. You need, you know, what is the reason of anointing? It's not to stop to sit on top of other people. It's just to win other people to come to God. It's not to take your money. So, 
I've got many pastors here. I saw the first person I want to pray is, is my son in Mozambique. Come. My son in the Lord in Mozambique. Because I believe. You, do you understand what I'm saying? Huh? You, you understand? There are many people who are not saved in Mozambique. Yes, they did. Uh, and then, how many big churches in Mozambique? Small. Small. Yes. So, let's have that cry. I want to pray for you today. Amen. I believe if God touches you for Mozambique, He will touch another one for another land, just like that, so that there will be revival. Revival is not to take you from assemblies, charis, and then uh, Mulopole is to go out. We are lacking people like Philip who went to Samaria where no one was praising God. And he reached the whole city. Even now, it has never happened. Even apostles, they fail to do that. Philip, who can go out and change the whole city to follow Jesus. Today, we are here in Winnie Mandela. We can't even change Zone 5. If you go out, you see people going to buy quarter, coming back here. Others say, what is happening here? I'm sure you understand that. You know why it's happening like that? Because we never had a heart of winning people. Our heart was to criticize that pastor and stand with that one. Now, it has rich people who are not saved. People are not saved now. They say, oh, I heard about him. I, which one? They don't even know the pastor. They say, this one, they look at me at the photo there. They say, can you see this one? Other the camera there. When I pass, because I took that photo long time ago. When I passed, they just say, it's not him. They are criticizing what they don't even know. Because they heard from Christians. Come on, brother. Stop there. Receive this. Come on. This anointing. Take it. Be anointed. Leave him down there. Rise up. Come here. Come. Come. I want to take it. the name of Jesus Christ. Take it. Mozambique is under your feet. Let me get someone from another country. Come, which country? Zimbabwe, come. Come on, take it. Zimbabwe. Be anointed, take it, take it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wait. This thing is happening for you for the first time. Yes, Baba. Come on, take it. Don't fall close to my wife. <laughs> Say it again. Is it happening for the first time? First time, huh? first time. The way you're doing, the way you're doing, it's first time. First time. Huh? Yes, it's first time. That's why I say, he must be anointed. People there must see. Do you know why I'm praying for you? So that the enemy must not attack me only. I'm sure you understand that. I'm praying for you so that the enemy must not attack me only. Some of the reason why I pray with you with all my heart is that I'm tired of attacks alone. So you people... So you people, when you are anointed now, Satan will never know which one to attack. Is it not true? So if we can have few people in Zimbabwe, they will be attacked and attacked. God must raise others. God must raise you. Where are you in Zimbabwe? I'm in Arari. Take it. Take anointing. This man says he's doing this for the first time. In the name of Jesus. 
brother, you are the one, you were very close. That's why he's holding you. <laughs> leave him, leave him. In Jesus' name. Leave him, leave him, don't touch him. Let me get someone from Pumalanga. Come. You are from Pumalanga, which side? Nell Sprint. Nell Sprint, come. Yes. You people can sit down where I'm praying with pastors. Nell Sprint. Do you want to change Nell Sprint? Yes. Yes. So, how do you change Nell Sprint? You don't wait when you feel power. You don't wait when your eyes can see. You go out. One person. Do you know Jesus? He loves you. You see, I'm a pastor. I've been saved. This, that. In the process of when you're doing that, Holy Spirit will say, he's sick. One time this thing happened to me. Because whoever I met, I would tell him about Jesus. So there was a woman who came and stand close to me. And I said, let me speak with her. I began to speak. When I was speaking, I heard a voice say, she's very sick. She tied things here on her feet. So I said, do you know Jesus? Do you want to accept him now? She said, ah, oh, no. I've already accepted. I said, no. I'm not talking about you have accepted going to church. I'm talking about the one who wants to save you and also heal you. She said, ah, how do you know I'm sick? I said, no, you have tied something here. She said, oh, you hey, well, now. And this makes it to be saved. That's the reason why we have prophecy. To bring people also to God. Take it! Leave them down. Let me get pastors of charities who want to win people. You want to win people? You want to win? Stand up, stand up, stand up. Stand up. You want to win people? These are my pastors. They want to win. Receive all of you. <laughs> Take it! Be anointed. Can you just come here, Ducha? Come here. Let me. You came as know that you are still around. You came as know. I think there's a, someone from UK there. I want to speak with him. Someone from UK there. Which UK, my, the brother of Specs at the back? Which UK do you come from? Which side? USA. No. UK here. There's no UK here. Yes, here. Which side? I come from Southampton. What? Southampton. Yeah. You're right. Thank you, people. You will help us soon. Satan is a liar. Satan is a liar. Yeah. Let me hear Victoria. It's only two ladies. Come. Come. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are anointed. Help, help her. You are blessed. Let me get someone here who wants to be anointed before I carry on with those pastors. Who want to be anointed? I'm just hearing there are people here. You want to be anointed? <laughs> Take it! If you don't fall down, you are not anointed. Yeah, that brother is anointed. Sister now is falling. Can you see that sister now? That sister. Bring that sister for me, this one. Look at this sister. Leave her, leave her, leave her. Come on, take it. Where do you come from? Huh? Tanzania. Huh? Tanzania. Come. 
Let me touch you here. You are anointed. You are anointed. You are anointed. You are anointed. Don't touch her. Don't touch her. She's anointed. Take it. Take it. Take it. Lady from Tanzania. And when anointing enters you, it must break your sickness. You must break your problem. Let me get any pastor now here. You're a pastor? Yes, from Botswana. A pastor is not supposed to wear like this when you come. I come. came with my bag. I'm just arriving. I did not know that the church is now starting during the day. Oh. I came with clothes to change. My bag is there. Uh, pastor, there's no formula to wear, but you're not supposed to wear like you are. Yes, daddy. Despite we don't wear suits all the time, but we fear God. Yes, dead. And we need to pray for your marriage. You hear me? Yeah? Yeah, I've got a problem. You've got a very serious problem. Yes, Dad. You, you are blessed. Let me get another one. Mm, so, of God. Huh? Takan. Stand up. The issue of spiritual father here is needed. You hear me? The issue of spiritual father yes, man of is God. needed. Yes, man of God. If you carry on this way, you're going to have problems. The issue of just saying, I'm a prophet, prophet, is going to break fire on you. Let's, let's be Before I start the ministry, I came here, you prayed for me. It's about two and a half years ago. Today, my ministry, it's about 3.5 to 4,000 people. I, say, I, came, I came again with my wife. She's the one we are talking about with wounds. You prayed for her, and she's healed. I sent a group of the ladies... They were dressing in Mozambican way. Okay. And then you told them that from you want to... Yes, from Mozambique. And oh, then you yeah. say you want to send a prophet there. Since that time, I didn't have a chance to come. It's only today when I'm here. I want to tell God about your anointing, man of God. So, those ladies, I, you remember the ones of Mozambique? Yes. They came to buy instrument that time when they came. They were here. coming to buy instrument for your church. Yes, that's why they had they pass here how, and then how they long, to the shop. You say how long is your church? It's about two and a half, two and a half years now. You can hear that. So, three thousand already, three point five people in his church. The ladies came. They even went to buy instrument for the, the ladies. The ladies. If God say yes, nobody will say no. So, I said I will send a prophet. Yes, you say you will send a prophet. So you are waiting. Since that time I didn't come. It's only now when I'm coming to say we are open to receive a prophet now in Mozambique. You want a prophet to come? Even today he can go with me. Can you hear that? Uh, can you stand up and praise the living God? It's a big testimony. This is a big testimony. I told myself that presently I'll be sending to at least mature prophets. Mature one. I've got Prophet Ducha. And then Prophet Emmanuel. I'll just say until these smokes 
dries down. When God raised people that fear God, I say, I will send these two people. So, where do you want the person? Even tonight, as I'm going home, I can take him home. Where are you? In, in, I'm in Maputo. In Maputo. The young man you pray for him, he knows me. He knows you? Yes. Oh, you know him? Come. Even him, ask him when he was prayed for. And ask him how many people he's having. Uh, when were you prayed for? Yes, they did. When they came in Charles, it was about the seven member. You were having seven member. When yeah. was that? Uh, one year ago. One year ago. How many members do you have now? Now we are about 400. 400. <laughs> one year. Ah. And these people are coming to tell you that they are winning people where there's dry land. This is what I'm talking about. In fact, I'm taking more time Pray with you that your family must be saved through you. Your friends must be saved through you. Everybody must be saved. If we talk about, if these people will be saved by looking at the blessing in your life, blessings must come to you. If they'll be saved by looking at a gift of the Spirit in your life, that gift must come to you in the name of Jesus. Brother, I will send someone. Be anointed in Jesus' name. So you can see this man is anointed. Leave him, leave him. I will send someone between these two. Uh, he's anointed. I'm sure um, we can send Ducha. I can send Ducha there. Ducha, you can go to Mozambique. When I'm sending Dusha to Mozambique, I'm sending Emmanuel somewhere. I want to send him to Cape Town. Uh, Emmanuel, did you go to Cape Town? You went to Cape Town? No, Daddy. So you'll be going to Cape Town. Why are you standing there? Eh? Why these people are standing here? Can you sit down, please? You can sit. Let me get someone who's sick of HIV. Run for if you are here. High blood. Come. Only one person. I see marriage coming to you. Take me. Let me get. Is it high blood? Yes. Huh? Yes. And it's HIV. not HIV. In HIV as well. Oh. But say HIV, you didn't come. HIV is leaving you. You are free. Let me get another one of high blood. Come, Mama. In fact, I wanted this, Mama. Mama, Mama, you are free. You have high blood. High blood. Put a mic, this is a demon that is crazy. Hey! 
cursing her blood. You are cursing her blood. You want to kill her? Yeah. Yeah. You want to kill her? Yeah. You speaking Venda? It's Venda that is speaking. I'm trying to share that with you. I, I, I. I'm going to pay it. I'm trying to. I'm a demon. I'm a Venda. I found a bad relation with her. Come on. Vani, Vani, Vani. Out. 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 In the name of Jesus. Jesus name. Re. So ya. In Jesus name, she's free. Let me get diabetes. Come, brother. Diabetes. Where is your wife? She's in America. Because you are rendered very weak. Yes. You are becoming very weak. You are free. Amen. Amen.